So welcome everybody um, to the January 8th, 2024, regular meeting of the Jamaica Select Board. Um, it is 7 p.m., 7.01. Um, the first item on the agenda is a call for any late additions. I have four, <laughs> which we will go through quickly, and then I'll open that, I'll open the floor up to anybody else who has something to add. Um, we will um, vote on approving a proposal to, to renew our contract with a current provider for tax map maintenance activities. Um, Karen and I can talk about that. Um, we are um, a little behind on approving our application for, uh, uh, we need to renew every so many years and I'll take a, I'll remind myself how many years it is. Our uh, application to, um, uh, to have a village center designation. Um, so we will um, uh, subject that to approval. Um, the, some meetings ago, we reviewed and approved an application for a municipal planning grant from the Wyndham Regional um, Commission to support updating our town plan. Um, we were granted that grant. <laughs> We were given that grant, and today we are being asked to formally approve accepting that grant. And the last is just a quick note on the storm that's expected for tomorrow. So that's what I have. Did anybody else have any late additions? To that? So that was enough. Four was enough? Okay. Yes. Great. Um, so I will move to the next um, item on the agenda, which is approving first um, the minutes of the December 11th regular meeting. I will make a proposal to approve those minutes. Second. Second. Okay. Any discussion of the minutes of the December 11th regular meeting? No discussion. I'll call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Um, and Tom abstaining. Okay. And next, um, I move to approve the uh, minutes of the December 13th special meeting of the select board. Second. Thank you. Any discussion of that meeting? With no discussion of that meeting, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Stay. Yep. Thank you, Tom. Um, now, we did have next a presentation um, by um, one or more folks from the sheriff's department, which we think they're going to join by Zoom. Um, they're not here yet, so I'm going to I'm going to put that one to the end of the agenda. Um, next is our perennial FEMA and storm preparedness topics, um, and I'm going to I'm going to deliver some of this. But as always, Greg, please um, jump in where I'm. I'm skipping anything and Mike as well, please. Um, so uh, just as a quick reminder, and I can't remember if we talked about this at the last meeting or the meeting before, um, we do still have some submissions that were made following the July 29th, 2021 storm to FEMA. Um, Mike has been working with his current contacts and finding some other contacts in FEMA to determine, first of all, to confirm that they were alive, so to speak. Um, this is hundreds of thousands of dollars, so it's really meaningful. And he's also been working to identify what exactly we need to do to complete those submissions, because sometimes we get different answers from different people. It sure seems to me, I mean, you're closer to it than I am. Um, but as of you know, last week, it looks like it's a reasonable hurdle. There is some information we're still looking for. Um, and so I, I know I, for one, am expecting some volunteer hours to come in, but um, we are, we now, unfortunately, or fortunately, are adding that to our list of FEMA projects that have to be closed out. Um, the 2023 submission, I don't know, did you want to just talk a little bit about, you know, where things stand there, Mike or Greg? I mean, I can just, I can. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. I think you summarized it pretty well. I mean, it's, well, that was twenty twenty one. Oh, twenty twenty one. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, but Mike has been 
tediously going through all the details of getting all that up to the FEMA reps now too. Um, we've got all of our damage inventory laid out and we just need to upload supporting documents. So right. we're in that process. Uh, it's ongoing, there's still actually work that's been put on hold, so to speak, through the winter. But um, you know, some of the projects aren't quite done yet, but most of the big ones are, I guess. It, it, I think most have been rat off. There's still a lot right. out there, but, uh, but yeah. That's okay. It. Anything else? I got well, uh, the RFP projects were completed. Uh, the only one I'm not oh, certain about is the transfer station, but I think they were working. Hunter did mention that. So Hunter did done. do. They yeah. did the work. Um, Ernie did send me a quick text. I don't know if he texted you. Also, there's one. I guess by the 30 yard container, he thought there needs to be an adjustment. Yeah, he sent that to me when I was there. Okay. Did he point it out to you what it was? No, we just. Okay. Said that's where it was. All right. So. Okay. If you, yeah. Well, that's good. Though. They got most of it. Yes, they got most of it done, and that was the only thing he raised, and and they touched on several parts of the transfer station, as we all know. So that was good. Um, the only thing I would just say to to put a uh, a finish on that the twenty twenty three discussion. What is the new deadline, tech, technical deadline from FEMA for completing submissions? It, it's it's at least another six months. It depends. Oh, on really? That category. long? Okay. okay. And the category A's, I think, are even longer than that. But, oh. uh, but they they've they've extended the deadline just because everybody's really, you know, uh, right, overwhelmed right. with all the, the damages and the, the storm we had a couple of weeks ago. Right. Just that. For logging those damages as well. Are people logging those damages in with not this event though? Right? Not, uh, not in Wyndham County, but the oh. other counties oh, six was, that's were, right. were named. And, and okay, there was that's still right. a question whether we would be eligible or not. And yeah. so there's a chance that Wyndham County would actually be eligible at some Potentially point? Potentially based on some damages in Brattleboro, we were told. That oh, it would okay. push it over the, it the, the limit. Monetary yes, limit. To actually okay. be a FEMA event. All right, great. Then we can have our third event running at the same time. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Um, so thank you, and that that was a nice update, also, Greg, on completed projects where we are pretty, you know, pretty much where we can be at this point, but in the major projects mm -hmm. are covered. Okay. So the last point is that um, we, you know, the funds that we've expended, which are in excess of a million dollars, are um, came out of our cash. Um, we have avoided um, needing to obtain an expensive line of credit up until now, but we definitely need um, financing. Fortunately, um, the Vermont Bond Bank, as they had been discussing for some period of time, does have an advantageous loan program. And I'm uh, sharing what's top of my mind, even though I might have covered this at the last meeting or some of it. In any event, um, the application deadline is Wednesday because of the storm tomorrow night. We're gonna complete the application for tomorrow. Um, the meeting of the board of Vermont Bond Bank is February 1, so we should know by mid-February whether we're getting financing, which I'm sure we will, but really the most important issue is how much uh, of our needs will be covered by Vermont Bond Bank. And I'll come back um, after that date to, the, to update everyone on that. Um, so, um, Oh, go ahead. It's the technical thing here. I, I'm supposed to be unmuted, aren't I? Okay, I keep getting feedback when it's unmuted. Because you're supposed to, you should have your, you need to mute your Yeah, you need to be muted. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, he's recording. I didn't realize that was on. I had muted myself, but. So you need to mute your speaker. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So does that mean does that mean the last ten minutes were without sound? No, because he was unmuted, so all the sound is going through his laptop. But it was okay. not, it wasn't great. So that, that's why we have these. So oh, got it, got it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Um, I was like an interruption. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, until until the folks from the sheriff's department show up, I'm gonna just keep going with the regular meeting. So the next item on the agenda is the approval of our updated traffic and parking ordinance. Um, I'll discuss the next steps and the discussion of enforcement, but I would like to start with um, offering a resolution to approve the um, traffic and parking ordinance 
um, uh, as updated to be adopted today. Second. Thank you. Um, I'll kick off the discussion, if that's okay, and then, you know, obviously anybody else join in. So, um, we, after some um, period of time with the, with the prior traffic and parking ordinance, some gaps were discovered, um, including some just, you know, more typographical issues. So we knew we had to update the ordinance. In addition, um, there have been, you know, meetings, both select board meetings and communications with members of the select board that um, there was a, a real desire to see enforcement action, not just on this ordinance, other ordinance, but this, this ordinance in particular. And so we went back to examine the mechanisms that we had afforded ourselves for enforcement. And frankly, they were deficient. Um, and there are a lot of reasons for that, but it sort of didn't matter. We realize now that we needed mechanisms to enforce our, our particularly parking. Um, with respect to traffic, we have the sheriff's department, and we're gonna have the sheriff's talk today, which would be a nice compliment. But with respect to parking, uh, both in, in the nature of um, parking violations, citations, so financial penalties, as well as the ability to remove a vehicle that's obstructing a roadway. Um, we, we really did not have a clear path for that under our existing ordinance. So in working with um, our outside counsel, and of course I did share with members of the board, um, this is where I've netted out. Um, it has been, uh, and also we did get a little, um, you know, uh, Charlie, um, Peck also reviewed it. He had been instrumental in drafting our last round, and he's also, you know, just one of our townspeople who lives in an area which is named as a as a, uh, a restricted parking area. So um, he also took a look um, and contributed, as well as of course being blessed by outside counsel. So that's that's kind of my. You know, background. You know, that's my description of the background and my my goals certainly for the town. Um, any questions? I just saw this. Oh, uh, it's from Monroe County Sheriff's Department. Oh, they emailed me. Oh, it says hi, Andy. Can we reschedule for tomorrow? As I'm still out on medical leave, as the weather is going to be bad, I'll be happy to attend the next meeting in person and bring my presentation. Oh, Captain Samatero. I didn't see that until just now. Okay. No worries, no worries. Text or something I would have caught. So we're going to move that to the next meeting. Sorry about that, Bob. But just um, if you'll confirm it, please. Yes, yes I Tom. I have a typo in here. If you look at the um, Article 6, okay. stop and yield intersections, the it's just a typo. It goes 1 through 5, and then, and then the 6th one doesn't have a number next to it. It says a stop sign on TH1 by Smalls. Right. Article, article 5, article six. article 6. The very bottom. Shouldn't that be number 6? The last. 1, 2, 3, 4. That, you mean? There's 5. Oh, five. There's 6, and then another one doesn't have a number next. Oh. Just a Needs to be just indented. No, please. Just a typo. Little. With that? No, okay. Anything, nothing else? No. Okay. Anybody else? Concerns? Questions? Okay, great. The, the reason I caught that is because I didn't see that stop sign on there. I'm like, where, where is the stop sign? I know, where? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, so. oh. Questions about the whole ordinance? Or, or anything. Yes. Anything um, related to it. So, it might not be the time to ask, and it would have been better if the, some of these questions of the Sheriff's Department was here, but... So, one of my, I, oh, I should have said I also, jump, I also sent it to the Sheriff's Department right. and walked through it with I Mark. Jessica asked us if we had any questions, and I had a number of them. One of them was, if someone contests a ticket, I know they go to our lawyer. What, is he going to wait for a bunch of them? And then go, who, who, who pays for the legal process on a contested parking ticket? That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And if the Sheriff's Department do it, and they... Does that come out of our sheriff's department contract if they have to go to court on a parking ticket? Those kind of things. Does that we know that? Right. So the only one I did not get a chance to go back to the sheriff on was if he 
gives a ticket on a non-state road, does, does, do we pay something? But I think the answer is going to be the same as the other answer, which is that if you, if someone contests a ticket and they lose, they pay the fees, including our expenses. So I think that if they, you know, if they don't lose, I suppose it's true. We would, we probably would eat the sheriff's costs on a municipal road. On a state road, that's a different, no, I know, that's I know. a different story. But I didn't know whether, you know, court costs when they go to, someone took it to a trial or something. Can they do that with a it's, Well, thing? there's a special court for it. It's not a trial. No. Yeah. It's, so the judge there the has, judge, right. has authority to dispense. It's kind of like the traffic court. Traffic court. No, traffic court. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, it's a, it's um regional traffic court. Right. Basically. Yeah. So. Are there any other towns? I know Londonderry has one, but they don't enforce it. Do they have the same ordinance as us? Do we know? Or? So I, I did examine other ordinances. Um, and in this one was actually modeled on Londonderry, okay. but I souped it up, let's put it that way. Um, uh, we, I don't, I did not ask, I didn't ask the legendary select board to see if they are issuing tickets. They also don't have a form of ticket, which right. we will, um, you know, how much will enforce it. I think that's a kind of a to be seen, Probably. but I definitely felt like the folks in Jamaica wanted us to have the yes. ability to oh, enforce. So, that. yeah. And do we have to furnish signs for like up in Wyndham? By Charlie's Pecks up at Pikes Falls Road. In, we have to post those signs indeed, all over our roads. No, just so as in order, um, is it is it strictly required? Probably not, but definitely it's recommended by council that if you're going to say, for example, we already know we're right. going to impose hundred dollar tickets if okay. you're park if you're violating um, the restrictions on Wyndham. So that those signs have been ordered. We've already determined with the sheriff's department where they're going to be placed. In okay. fact, I think it was discussed that. at an earlier meeting. I think you might not have been there. So um, that yes, if you're gonna if you're gonna pick an area like these, right. and you're gonna we know we're gonna impose a ticket of a certain amount, you post it. You order the signs and you post it. What doesn't need to be posted is removal if your car is in the roadway or it's blocking if it's if it's right. blocking any of of the town way um it's you don't you don't have to earmark a towway zone or anything like that it's and that there's case law on that so so the car that was parked in the hot spot over there last night during the storm all night long was that oh, would that be towed someone talked to me about that <laughs> yes it could have been towed. For an it could absolutely have been towed okay mm -hmm. and who's doing the towing so this is not really part of my like, yeah no very good, very good. Yeah. That was that was part of my lengthy conversation with the sheriff's department because I it would have been very silly to have all that language in there if we didn't have a mechanism to enforce. So yes, we can utilize the sheriff's department to liaison because they're the ones who are who have the relationships with the town companies. Okay. So um, and they actually the sheriff's office also does have towing capacity, but not as much as the large towing companies. Um, and you know. Uh, even though we will, there will be folks who can issue tickets, right, and leave them on a car. We don't want anybody from the town to be interacting with someone um, at a towing. So we're going to leave that. So you know, do we know the A one? The sheriff, you, we would A one. We just go to the sheriff well, and say, they, get someone up like A one down in Vernon. They, they just, what the, A one. What law enforcement oh. does is yeah. they rotate around to be out of fairness and okay. yeah. Sometimes the tools available, but they. Use That's what he said to me. Oh, who's, available. who's available? So there are a number of different right. ones. Right. 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 Here, there's a there's one in Bennington. Okay. Um, there's uh, one in Spring outside of Springfield. Okay. Um, so there are they're not right here. Right. Vernon, Vernon, Vernon. Right. Vernon. Yeah. Okay. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And then nobody from the town would be involved okay. in the actual well, town. I'm just curious. Yeah. It, no, no, it's, it's this like, is yeah, new call territory. A truck and <laughs> yeah, <don't. laughs> get those guys going. Because call Brad. Yeah, right later. Yeah. Hey, Greeny, can you tell someone? Oh, they come from great distance sometimes. 
sometimes. Right. Because they have to be bonded. There's all sorts of Yeah, you know, of course. Yeah, of they course. Have I to, get that. You know, I'm, just, I'm just curious, because like, I'm just curious who was going to do it and the, right. the timeliness of it. Just we can also use the Denver and boot. And, and the Sheriff's Department has Denver okay. boots. We had a situation oh. about a month ago. There was a car parked in front of Ginger's for about two weeks. Like, just didn't move. So we called the Sheriff, and they sent the deputy right up. Um, he, you know, we were all him in and on, should we tow it? Because I didn't want to be like, yeah, tow the car. And be like, ah. But he didn't want to either. And so finally he was able to find the person and they said they would move it that Saturday. And this was Thursday. Um, it was still here Monday, but then it left. So. Oh, they, it's still here today. They do respond even now. Is right. Kind of right. my point. And I've kind of had a little bit of experience <clears throat> because we were trying to get that, figure out whose car it was and just get it out of. On Route 30? Yeah, right. The state police used to be so on that, like you could not. No, we called the car. They were here the with car an hour. Right. Really it's it's yeah. basically going to work the same so way. Yeah. It's just this way yeah. we have it, you know, we're right. kind of bulletproof from, from complaint or. But yes, I mean, it's essentially our. our listen, <clears throat> my preference, and I'm sure everybody in this room would vastly prefer not to tow someone's vehicle. Um, but where there's a, a, an issue or circumstance, particularly a persistent one, we want to have the ability to do it. So. Any, any more questions? Please. Hi, uh, remind me, besides this meeting um, on Zoom, how will people in town be notified that this is changing? Thank you. You led me into my next part of this, which is next steps. So there is a very standard way that ordinances are adopted. So immediately after this meeting, um, Sarah will enter into the minutes, the fact that we've approved it um, and the date. It will then, beginning tomorrow, be posted in five places, public places around town. It will also be published in the Brattleboro Reformer. Um, and after, within a period of uh, 60, well, it gets, it gets approved automatically in 60 days. But I think you have to, so if, if someone objects, um, it, they, you can raise uh, an objection with a petition to seek a town vote, to, see, to, you know, to seek a broader vote on the ordinance. So that all happens if after 60 days, nobody has um, raised an effective petition, then the ordinance automatically goes into effect. And that's what happened the last time we went through this process. Thank you. I was hoping someone else would ask, but so who else is going to enforce this? Who's going to write tickets besides? Is there going to be someone else besides law enforcement? It, we certainly have the ability okay. to do that. This provides so we'll us. Shake that out later. Let's shake it out later in a meeting. We okay. probably so like would. Possible you know. and possibly, or other yeah. someone else. Can we appoint somebody else? Is that yes, we can. We okay. can appoint. We could appoint. Um, you know, Senator yeah, Sanders, if we wanted, yeah. you know. <laughs> okay. Andy, Andy, like Andy you want to write tickets, Andy? Not really, no. <laughs> I did have a ticket pad as health officer. Oh, really? Same thing as. Okay, it's going to look an awful lot like that. Yeah, it exactly. is that. It's the same thing. Any other questions? No. Okay, no further discussion. I'll call the vote. All those in favor of adopting the new um, traffic and parking ordinance for the town of Jamaica, Vermont, please say aye. 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 Okay, unanimous. Thank you, everyone. Um, okay, next is the MERP grant contract approval. So, um, Mike, do you want to introduce this one? Uh, oh, no. I'm sorry. The, um, oh, the municipal planning group. Yeah, the municipal planning grant. Uh, excuse me, uh, municipal energy resiliency program. Energy, I'm sorry. Yeah. I get my acronyms messed up. Yeah. It's basically uh, they're the state's promoting uh, energy efficiency, and uh, we have uh, applied for a greater amount of money for three of the four buildings in town. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're at least getting the study money for this consultant we would like to use for ADA compliance to look at hopefully the uh, Historic wow. Preservation Building wow. and the right. library in particular with right. that $4,000 application. And then we'll develop plans for those properties. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to make uh, a res offer a resolution approving the... Um, it's actually a contract um, for receiving the grant. So uh, approve the contract itself, 
which I've circulated, and I guess in this case we'll also say the acceptance of the grant. Sure. So that way we avoid that snafu. Um, second. Second. Thank you very much. Any discussion on the So work? just a grant to look into it? Because we do this, do we have to follow through and take action on whatever the state says? It, they are, uh, the state's allocating $4,000 to every town in Vermont to kind of serve as seat monies to, to look at energy resiliency. We can spend it however we want. ADA was one of the factors that they are uh, looking at and factoring the issues in the historic preservation building and the library. It makes sense to use those. Well, what is ADA? So, uh, Americans with Disabilities Act. Wheelchair accessible. Right. The elevators potentially, ramps. So the contract is just to what? Do the study? Yeah, to tell us what we need to do, what, what changes we need to make to these buildings in order to be compliant. So then we will have to make those changes. That's what I was just asking. Well, it's not, we're not required, but uh, no, if you want to develop a program, ADA okay. will be a right. component of the, of the approval if we continue to go through the program. Right, right. So if we want more money from the state to allow us to make enhancements and improvements, a threshold item is the state's going to require that we're ADA compliant. Well, that makes sense. I mean, I'm not saying we shouldn't do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I mean, a lot of things are. Here, here. Especially, old, especially older buildings. Just curious, from signing contracts, you know, I just wondered what that part of what is in. What the down, what the downstream consequences are. Well, not consequences, just like what might happen. Yeah. Um, in applying for grants for the historical foundation, what percentage of the grant funding is going to the historical foundation? Many of them require us to be um, ADA compliant, so. It would be nice. It would be helpful. Yes. As well as being the right thing. Yes, exactly. We are here, right? In this film? Yes. Yes. In the town of home. This is yeah. well. Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, that was subject of an earlier meeting. Any other discussion? I'll call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, unanimous. Thank you very much. And I'll sign this before we leave. Um, okay, so the next item I think is really to close out and just confirm by vote that um, we are going to be working with Sam what's it? Wood. Wood. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, I, so I'd like to make a resolution that after lots of discussion and vetting of numerous um, proposals and, and prospective providers that um, we enter into an agreement with Sam. It's obviously not permanent. We're not committing to years and years of work, but to start the process and 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 hopefully, um, uh, you know, in, in, in effect some important upgrades in the office from a digital perspective. Who is Sam? And he's the, uh, I've never been in on any of these. The owner. He's the owner of the company. He came and we interviewed him. Um, okay. Before I was on the board. Right, Tom was participating Tom was as, as a friend yeah. of the town. Friend of the town. Yes. If you don't go to those meetings, you don't know. Who's yeah, Sam so he's, he's Sam, is, he's the owner. He's um, started a business local here. He lives up on West Jamaica Road. Um, he's trying to grow his business too. So Yeah, and uh, I did offer to everyone if they yeah. wanted to right. join these meetings. They oh, and, and, and so his yeah, other right. town, what's the other town? Sunderland, he's also, he, yeah. he supports Sunderland. Town of Sunderland. So we're the and second town in his. Uh, he did too, but he used to work in He used to work Manchester, in Manchester, town of Manchester, did a bunch of stuff right. with them, yeah. So I mean, he's definitely, I talked with him, his experience level, um, I, I felt he knew what he was talking about. Eager, Eager. right. And also, very he close. likes the equipment that we installed right. two years ago, so he's like, yeah, this is good stuff. So it's not like he's coming and saying, oh, we got to replace everything. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He has a little bit of background for, I mean, okay. we, out, we did put out an RFP. Yes. Look at our infrastructure here for our, our IT systems and a group, um, right. Mike and Tom, evaluated. We received three proposals. So um, there's quite a lot of detail to go through all of them. Right. And then we even went out to some others who hadn't actually formally issued right. a proposal. Right. Paul? What's the defined product at the end of this contract? The defined product? Yeah, you've got a contract. Well, so, 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 new stuff. What's the product? Oh, well. 
So no support. I mean, basically, the stuff that I've been doing for you guys. <laughs> the stuff that I've been doing for you, where I will come in and work on the network, so work on the computer, or I look at the servers. I mean, the server, we need to replace the server. I mean, that's the kind of stuff. So um, security. Security. Right. So what, what he'll start with is loading uh, a piece of software on all of the computers that will allow them to remotely support them. And then if Sarah has a problem in the afternoon, she can pick up the phone and give a call and she'll say, okay, let me get in your computer and see what you're doing. Um, so that's what we're paying for specifically in a monthly fee to him. But we're also, you know, once he comes in and does an assessment of our networks, security, uh, server infrastructure obviously is in desperate need of replacement, then um, we could propose, we could ask him to come up with proposals to replace that hardware. Um, things I wasn't willing to, I'm not going to rebuild the server. So, but that's the kind of stuff he's like, yeah, so we would then contract him uh, to do that. So the baseline contract is an advisor to our IT. Like a help desk person. No, he is our IT. Okay. He is your yeah. IT. So before Tom, we had Lou, right. before Tom, we had Lou who did all yep. this stuff, but since Lou's left and Tom left, we have... Me. And, and not only that, we have some other intervening needs um, in addition to uh, um, new standards for municipalities in terms right. of digital security. Right. Um, our listers organization is going to be undertaking a project to um, move our data and, and activities from within our firewall to a software service hosted solution um, that's going to be evaluated and so that means no longer needing a server as Karen was explaining to me earlier but also just making sure the pipes are secure uh, you know how the information gets within our firewall and outside our firewall and so this is this what you contract with for extra for dollars a month no not initially because initially we we have a we have a hump to get over so there's going to be some extra hours as he learns the system and does this evaluation. Right. He's, he's charging a monthly fee for the software that he loads on each computer. There's a monthly fee for that. And then I think he said if we buy a block of hours, it's cheaper. Right. We'll probably buy a block hour. of hours. So buy 20 hours, right. 20, 20 right. hours, 10 hours. Right. And then he can come in and right. assess things and make changes. I mean, the, there's a lot of things that need to happen. And... You know, cybersecurity. I'm not, I'm not opposed to this. Like, I'm just saying, well, I'm just yeah. trying, to, trying to define it in the obviously, I don't know anything about IT, but I got an idea how contracts go bad when they're fuzzy around the edges. And that's, that's kind of. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm not concerned about I mean, yeah. we, 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 there's plenty of work to be done around the cybersecurity here. Yeah. I mean, we need to right. secure things. I've done some. Um, <clears throat> we're not wide open. I know on the, even on the websites and the WordPress sites, we've put in the security suite as we pay for that for the next five years or whatever. Right. But um, it's good to have somebody who's here and somebody who's here. <laughs> <laughs> tough and yeah. instead of me doing it on the side. I think it'll be on the side. I mean, it's right. important. When, when I we asked graduate you about, to the next step. To, right. When I asked who Sam was, I was hoping that this would come out on the hand. That's um, all I was really so in, But to your point, which is a very critical one, the way we avoid going sideways is the monthly billing, which he will deliver to us in, with the level of detail that co coincides with what Tom just described, um, but also active engagement by staff and members of the board in the services that he's providing. It's when you turn away and you get a bill three to four months later, then I don't care how tight your contract is, it's it's gone. You've gone sideways, and and we've got a lot of really the listers with, with everyone who's you know involved. And Tom being back on the board, God bless him. Um, that's that's really what gives us um, a hope, uh, you know, to keep this tight. Yeah, and I I will obviously work with him. Sure. Definitely in a transitional period, um, but you know so I'm around too. This guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? So yeah. I, I can offer some oversight onto that if there's issues arise, which I don't foresee that happening. Kate, did you have something? Yeah, and this also going to encompass the new phone. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Oh, yes. Yeah, Sarah might like that. I'm just like a bill to go back. Yeah, and we'll end its work. Um, so with that, um, no further discussion. I'm going to call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Okay, that's unanimous. Thank you, everyone.
All right, so next I'm going to go to the request for proposal that has come in for our town-wide reappraisal. So with Karen's um, permission, well, first I'm going to start with the resolution. I'm going to resolve that we approve the appraisal um, RFP, which everyone has received. Karen, please, if you could introduce the, oh, oh second, please, thank you. If you could introduce us. Um, so we put out an RFP for a reappraisal. <clears throat> I think it's like 60% of the towns in the state of Vermont have to do a reappraisal. There's a shortage of appraisers. So it looks like they will start, uh, when is it, uh, late 2026 20. or the spring of 27 for a reappraisal date of April 1st, 2028. So we have time. Um, the appraiser, uh, the uh, the proposal was one hundred and forty one thousand dollars, which uh, this is a company that we already use. We only received one proposal. If I was expecting it to be more, if we had another company that came in and had to totally redo everything, so this really isn't that bad. When we had our last reappraisal in 2018, we paid $142,200. So, so we're actually paying yeah. less for this reappraisal. But all of their information is already in the computer. Yeah. They just have to update everything. And, and it is the same firm that did yeah. the last time. It right? is. Mm -hmm. um, Why is it less this time? Probably because it was so recent, relatively recent. And they don't um, have to do, to enter every single property mm -hmm. into the system. There's 12,000 properties, and and each one- It's hard to believe, to be, isn't it? They started from scratch. Well, 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 well. Right, they started from All scratch. The so this time they All just the are going to continue on with their program. Yeah. So yes. Yes. you have, or we have, uh, $129,000 uh, 129, $174.78 in an account to pay for this. So we're pretty close. Because we've been putting money away. Yeah. Um, the town each year puts 6800 into this fund. This year we received from the state $11,007.50 uh, $11, and $1,295, which we receive each year. And it comes to like $9.50 per parcel. So, um, that's basically it. Right. There will be an annual support license fee if we go with the cloud hosted version, um, which will be- Of Patriot, yeah, of, of the Patriot. software. Yeah. yeah, if we go to the hosted. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but you're gonna come back, you're gonna actually, ex well, you've seen it. Right, the, the, new new, the new program, the new software. Barely, okay. Ed and I were, um, and Maybe Pat was there too. Right. Anyway, we were looking at it. He, he showed it to us briefly. It looks great, the new program. Okay. The updated program. Right. So that's, yeah, getting back to what I mentioned earlier. Yes. So, so does the board foresee um, funding that Delta there? So we have, you say we have 121,000 or there 129,000. Or 129,000. Do we see us putting in the additional 11,000 yes. in the next two years or three yes. years? I mean, Karen it's five, within five years, because it's really five years out. Um, it is. And it's 2028. Over, right. over that year. Right, you don't have to, you don't pay it all at once, but yes, Karen gave us the slug that we have to add to the budget each year okay. until. So it's $12,000, it's not a ton of money. No, no, no but it's like 3,400 yeah, that we're. And we'll yeah. have extra money yeah. by Perfect. the time we do the reappraisal, we'll be starting a new fund for the right. next right. right. Okay, so we won't have to find. $20,000 or something. No. Okay. So, okay. Which is great. All, all 1,200 properties get looked at. 12,000. 12,000 12, or 1,200? 1,200. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12
Any other discussion on the townwide RFP for the reappraisal? No? With that, I'll call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, unanimous. Thank I'm you. Add one more little thing. Oh, please. Um, so everything in town is, a, is assessed at the 2018 value. Most properties in town are selling for about double that. So probably the assessments will become double or something like that. But I want people to understand that does not mean that your taxes go up. <laughs> it, because then the tax rate, if the assessment is double, right. the tax rate is by half. Right. Right. Assuming that you know everything is about the same that yes. you need. Right. So taxes aren't necessarily going to go up just because of this. True. Thank you. Good point. All right. So I'm going to move on to the porta potty contract. Sarah, can you just tell us um, uh, what the increase is? So we've been paying ninety dollars a month for each porta -pot port potty. The one here and the one at the transfer station. I got a bill and it's one hundred forty dollars each, and I'm like, that's a fifty dollar increase each. And so I, there is an email from the lady in the basket that I didn't okay. bring to the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tell us what the email says. No, I can't. Can I grab the email? Yes, of course you can. We need uh, elevator music. That's what I'm looking at now. Oh, you have you have a different agenda. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to go back to that one as part of a, a, a late edition. Sorry about that. So, so they started servicing the transfer station in 2013. Um, the average customer is 110 per month. The transfer station was charged 90 per month starting in 2013. Since then, we've done rate increases on portable toilets in 2014, 16, 21, and the last increase was this year. Um, and it was up to 160. We have strived to keep your rate at 90 per month and have been able to for 10 years now without an increase. <coughs> Excuse me. Unfortunately, the cost of cleaning supplies, hand sanitizer, everything else is greatly increased over the last several years, and we have no choice. We value you as a customer, and if you or the board have any questions or issues with the new rate, please reach out to me and we're talking. Well, I'll make it a, a motion to approve the increase, the co new contract with the increased rate. The second. Okay. I don't really have much choice. On is there How does that compare to other vendors? There are others, right? I mean, I, I think it's reasonable over 10 years that it's gone up. I'd like to have a discussion why we even have it. Here. <laughs> I don't think we have a here. choice. Here. Do we the have a choice? Station, yes, but here? Why do we have it here? I heard but it was well, so we had God, I see two hands up, Paul and then Karen. You want to go first? You raise your hand first. I suspect from my time here that there's an awful lot of traffic that is diverted from coming in here in the summer with tourists by that outhouse. Oh, okay. People, there is no other public. That's true. It right? does get used. It does get used. It does. It does. And, and to speak to a lot of the um, tradesmen in the area who are working plowing and cutting grass and all, right. this is their home spot. Right. So while it may not seem like a lot of people in your life, but I do know that there's a lot of people who are not knocking on the door. Right. That would be that they're getting diverted out that way. And when I was sitting store. up in that window, you'd see two or three, you know, families and kids and this whole right. thing that were right. But yeah. there are families yeah. and kids, but I'm just thinking about it. Right. I heard and no no previous owners or anything. It was to keep people from asking the store. Oh. And keep them from asking. Store people. doesn't have a public bathroom. No, I know. Right. Right. This is not around. This is I know. Right. Yeah. I know. I think it's a good so what was it, was it put here so the court didn't get bothered? Yeah. I don't know. It right. creates. I mean, I think it keeps. We talked about taking it out. And if I recall, one of the the, the people who spoke against the movie was the You guys saw that not serve your your customer? It's so important, yes. and, and we put it in back in, maybe it was 2010, 2009, something like that, and we did have one at Skippy when those 
shop there for a little while. Right. We then moved it over here. The, the town was only paying maybe a couple of months a year. We were paying for it That's what I thought. for the rest of the time. There is not a public bathroom in the store, and there can't be because you have to walk through the deli and mm -hmm. the bakery to get it. Yeah, no. So we cannot, or not me, yeah. <laughs> we could not allow anybody to go in that bathroom. And me, there is nothing modify, in town. Let me modify what she just said a little bit. Not only is there not a public bathroom in the store, there isn't a public bathroom in the town. Perhaps yes. it's the dog. Yes, it's inhospitable for a town not to offer. I know for a place, other towns, and just walking around with a grip with a back. Oh, if there isn't years. one, we don't feel very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think Greg may have been asking if we can if we can ask another company too. Yeah, I I, I totally support having one. I'm just wondering if that's great. But I don't think there, it would be a huge. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Huge savings. Yeah. Yeah. And if it yeah. hasn't gone up in ten years, years have it's still. I don't. Yeah. yeah. It's got Karen Moore. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I would also say that if there is not one here, you don't want to know where people are going to go. Yeah. Oh. That's true. Cool. I can tell I you mean, where they go. Yeah, we don't know. Okay, yeah. The store <laughs> and, and everywhere. Down people's driveways. Yeah. Right. Right. So you don't yeah. want that. No, All right, no. so I think we're good it's with the potty conversation. <laughs> All right. I'm going to call. Oh. <laughs> Regarding the question about options, yeah. uh, I have no interest whatsoever in this particular company, except for as long as I've been involved. They've, done it. they've cleaned it, they've kept it clean, they've always responded to any questions we've ever had. And I think the service that we've got from them has been excellent. I would agree. I have never smelled it, to be honest. <laughs> Which is important. It's still in my mouth. I actually never smelled it. <laughs> All right. If no further discussion, I will call the vote. All those in favor of approving the new porta potty contract with its increase, please aye. say aye. 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 Unanimous. All right. Now I'm going to go back up to the items that um, were late additions. So, um, uh, thank you, Karen, for raising this. So, um, as uh, those of us in the biz know, um, every town has its tax map. It's not perfectly associated with lots and lines, but it um, it is used and is leveraged both by the town, townspeople, service providers, etc. So it's a, definitely a critical function. We've been working um, with CAI Technologies. Actually, which also supports our, you know, parcel viewing. You have to click through their screen, um, and uh, they have come to us to say it's actually time for you to review your contract. It's a one-year renewal. Um, I'm going to um, make a proposal that we approve this one-year renewal. Um, uh, so uh, I'm going to suggest a resolution that we approve the. Um, January 5th, 2024, tax map maintenance proposal for the town of Jamaica, Vermont from CAI Technologies. Second. Um, it is $1,500 for maintenance service, and any building footprints we add is another $20. Um, uh, so now let's open it up for discussion. I know. Oh, did someone? Yes, didn't someone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, so, uh, Karen, did you want to talk to this point? You want me to share what you shared with me, or? Yes, you can. I, I just want to say that it is in your budget already. Right. Right. So, what I would add is this: um, Karen has been, you know, she's still relatively new to the role, but very active, and kind of immediately recognized that while we do need their services. There are some areas where they have not been 100% in delivering the services that they have promised. So she is our police, internal police now, and is going to be working with them. But this is now, this is a bit of a show and tell year. Let's see if they respond to her um, urging and they come through in the way that um, hopefully they will. Um, but I will, if, and if no further discussion, I will call the vote. I don't know, oh, I, please. I mean, related to when you take teaching and things like that, I know it is integrated when you go on to our website and pull up the tech maps, and this, I believe, gets funneled back to the state for when we, when they update our maps, it gets back up to 
the state where it's a parcel, parcel viewer. viewer. Yeah. So are there? I mean, it sounds like it's maybe a one single source vendor. Are there other vendors? No, there are other vendors, vendors that provide this. There service. are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and by so, the way, parcel viewer is not the only way of towns push out their their town okay. maps. So depending on what town you're in, you might you might or might not use it. Have we sought other um, providers for this, or is this? We're, I mean, when you say so, we're not so happy because they haven't done a few things, I mean, are, is there somebody else who we should be looking at? I'm just curious. When Lou Russo was in the Lister's office, he was working on the mapping himself and then would send it to Parcel Viewer. Um, I'm not qualified to do that right now. <laughs> no, no, and, no, and Pat I, and I, I talked about it, and she and I, Pat and Helmings, and we were. We both interviewed this guy when he came in because we had questions about what was going on. And they had not billed us for last year. They had not sent us the digital maps and they had not sent the information on to Parcel Viewer. So, but this is the company that two years ago, you signed a contract here for $11,000 to have them go through all of our uh, um, Survey. surveys and any other information that we had to come up with up-to-date mapping. And so Pat and I felt it was important to continue doing that for at least a couple more years or at least one more year to, so we can familiarize ourselves with it more and, and, and then we'll look at right. and take that time. options. Right, potentially take the opportunity you know, at some point this year, if they really are not happy to engage in R&D and, sure. and potentially change providers. Did, did they do $11,000 worth of work already? Yes. Okay. That's all done. And right. then there was a contract last year for $1,500 and this is for, oh, this new one is for 4 one through three thirty one twenty twenty five. So you know what they are lacking, or what you kind of know what we the problem those is. We caught three items uh, that that they hadn't followed through with, and uh, and he was fixing that and, and taking care of it. Well, if you want, no, if I, you I, want I, us to, we could. I mean, I no, unless I'm, it's I'm, a I'm time I'm to with that. I was just kind of curious because I had heard from I mean, <laughs> right. Pat that there was some right. um, current current concerns about their their. Patchwork. Well, so we, we do have a time crunch because we okay. need someone to be doing this work actively right, right, for us, right, right. and we are we need to sign a, a contract. Um, and we're constantly finding mistakes. I mean, there's a whole folder in there of little mapping mistakes that we're finding all the time. I'm and sure that exists with any company. Oh, it does. Uh, yeah. No, well, oh, this is town. No. Town. These oh, are oh, town. Oh, These oh, are, oh, right. Oh, this oh, is oh, not oh, a mistake oh, made by the company. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. stuff that we need them to correct. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. And it's not just Jamaica. It's every town. Right, right. right. Every town around. Right. But um, well, we're right. finding things constantly. Yeah. No, I'm okay with it. And as oh, far as yeah. the physical maps that they provide, they're used at least once a week in my office because we yeah. have a big set in ours and they have a set in theirs. Mm -hmm. So I mean, in my office, they're used at least once a week. I mean, we use them okay. too. I mean, they're right. they're more up to date than Parcel Viewer. So when you think about yeah. yes, and when you think about the fact that we our budget is based on property taxes, yes. right? Yeah, right, so right. It's, oh, a, okay. it's kind of a, an essential function. So, all right. With that, um, I will call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Great. Thank you. Unanimous. Um, all right, the next is, um, meanwhile, I, you, sh you gave this to me a while ago, the information on renewing the village center oh, designation. Yeah. Yes, because I found it in my fault. <laughs> so I think, Mike, you pass this along? Yes, thank you very much. So um, I circulated the old, you know, the, our existing map, which shows um, the town center. Um, I'm not super familiar with this, Mike. Maybe you know a little better. Um, and Greg, I think you're also more familiar with kind of the impact of, yeah. of, of maintaining this designation. I feel I don't. I can't speak to it. Probably. Okay. I mean, I am somewhat. I mean, I know that there's some there's some there benefits. grants right. available potentially. Right. A lot of, usually, with that right. designation, you're giving prioritization. 
Okay. And, and I guess the question is, should the map boundaries change? Probably not now, but that may, maybe next year they may change based on infrastructure improvements. But uh, Interesting. You know, okay. But right now it's, you know, I think it goes to the fire station over to uh, just right. uh, Karen's property, I think is the, the limits, roughly speaking. And it's not just municipal, um, potentially receiving grants from the municipality, but um, private grants too. For right. Or store presentation, non -profits. things like that, mm -hmm. nonprofits within mm -hmm. the town. So I think it's it's a you know good foundation for you know keeping our village charm basically. Right. So. Right. Okay. Is there, I don't care. I think that we take advantage of it the way we, we should. We should. Right. Okay. So here, here. Get the word out there. There's a, a lot for businesses and and, um, and property owners that they could do. And it talks about village greens also and enhancing village greens if we could mm. somehow find the village green. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so things like that. Hmm. I think this is an eight year. This is good for eight years. Uh, I think. It's something like that. It's like good. Um, well, yeah. I, uh, what I see is that it's it's due now. <laughs> yes, it's due now. I think we have six months. Uh, um, um, but it's not an annual renewal, right? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this does not. In what I printed out, I don't have how long it lasts, but I can I can follow up. And it doesn't. This doesn't put any limitations on the downtown, like a zoning kind of thing. No, no, okay. no zoning. I get no that. Zoning. I'm just asking. Yeah, so yeah, good call. question though. Um, if no further discussion, I'll call the vote. All those in favor of approving, uh, submitting an application for a renewal of the Town of Jamaica's Village Center designation, please say aye. 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 Thank you, unanimous. All right, so let's go to, um, this is a, just an item of uh, business. We applied uh, a short while ago for a municipal planning grant um to assist um with expenses associated with updating our town plan and in particular support from Wyndham regional commission etc um the total it, it, grant awarded to us exceeds twenty seven thousand dollars so it's a generous grant and while we did approve applying for the grant um, we've been asked to uh, formally approve accepting the grant so i hereby resolve that the town the select board of the town in jamaica um, it accepts the proffered grant um, under the municipal planning grant program um, described. Second. Second, thank you. Any questions or discussions on that? If none, I'll what, call the vote. Are we, are we on the hook for any of that? No, it's, it's money that we get, not that we have to Use pay. Use for what exactly? Updating our town plan. Okay. Which is every eight years also now. I think it's due in 2026. So it's for the it's planning soon. commission? It's, yeah, I think it's the next out. fiscal year after yeah. this. To help the planning commission mostly? Yes, it's, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mike will support, will also be involved, um, but yes, the planning commission. And it's through the window region yeah, so that's again. Right. Um, it's their planners also that assist in, in yes. helping us write our town. Our town, our town. Oh, I know he tries to get us to talk about that more. Oh, even on, the, so even on so. like the transportation committee, I'm supposed to relay all kinds of. Right. You can tell them we know. approved accepting. Oh, he'll know. <laughs> Great. Did I call the vote? I can't remember. Yes. That. Yes. No. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Great. Unanimous. Thank you. Um, all right, so the last thing very quickly that I'd like to discuss is that we are getting a storm tomorrow. Um, it's significant enough that um, the emergency management uh, department of the state of Vermont has um, issued a pre-alert. Um, the highlights for our immediate area are that starting tomorrow afternoon, we are expecting a wet snow with fall rates in excess of a minute of an inch an hour possible at times and it's a wet snow um there will be uh, strong winds not necessarily where we are right here but we can't rule it out um that will happen overnight tuesday night into wednesday so the combination of heavy snow and strong winds can often lead to power outages 
So that's a warning. Um, there, in regions other than our immediate region, there is also going to be rain, um, although that's not really expected much here. Um, but even where there's not rain, there are anticipated rises in the river we're, levels we're and with heavy snow blocking um, culverts uh, and advisory. whatever, drains, etc. you could see some God. intermittent road flooding. And then finally, immediately oh, thereafter, the temperature is going to fall. So we're going to have some freezing. So just this is, uh, it was enough of a concern that we're all sort of like, and I can tell you at least in my immediate, you know, work and family life, everybody's like, really? Um, but I, have, I feel <laughs> obligated to say really, yes. So um, hopefully it'll blow over, but um, no pun as of, yeah, no, no, but 24 hours, less than 24 hours out, it's looking like it's coming. There's power trucks here, they're expecting up north in New York, like maybe 10,000 plus yeah. outages, but. Yeah, I think we're, we're we're low. Well, anyway, it's going to be really warm on Wednesday, so hopefully whatever comes in melts. Now yeah, it's going to be 50, warm for be fifty, on right? Wednesday. But it's going to be fifty no, for like this warm. really brief period, right. just long it's enough changed. for stuff to melt, and then it's going to immediately yeah, fall right. down to right. normal January temperatures. So we're going to have a super it's free nice, Wednesday nice, night. Nice, so nice. yeah, yeah. deal. Yes, I wanted to warn everybody. Um, all right, so I'm going to next uh, move to, uh, next item of business is the timesheets for the town office listers highway and transfer station. Um, and uh, thank you very much, Sarah, for getting the payroll up. Um, all those in favor of approving the timesheets. Um, oh, no, first I'll make a resolution to approve the timesheets. Second, thank you. Any discussion? No, just, okay. Can I ask a question after? Yeah, of course. Okay. We'll have public concerns. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Unanimous. Um, pay orders are in the basket that's now here. Um, but I will make a motion to approve the pay orders. Second. Second. Um, any discussion? No. Sarah has posted those two, so thank you. That's huge. Yes, yes. Yeah. No, just the payroll. Right? Oh, did you put the ball? I yeah. Oh my God, I thought it was only payroll. It was all payroll. Oh, no. oh, thank you. To yeah. me, that's huge. To be huge. To really the sink your teeth into them. So oh, you get to look at them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, we have someone coming in. Oh, yeah. 70 pages. Well, no, basically, we're lucky for the driver to start a new one. We just kept bringing that one back up. And it was that's where I was looking at. I was like, I want to go to my other Google. I have like three. Come on. Come on, man. They would not let me. All right. Well, thank you very much for getting that up. Well, today's Absolutely. payroll's in there, too. So. And yeah. then I saw payroll. A hundred bills, too, okay. that are new today. Okay. Thank you. Um, uh, if no further discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Um, public concerns. Andy, did you want to say something? No, and it was just about one of the pay orders. But. Oh, okay. Do you want to? Yeah, it was to the, the frame group for uh -huh. 4000 something. I was just wondering, I called their office today and asked, you know, how many of those have we made? How many more have we got to make? So I didn't want to open that whole subject up. No, no, but uh, no, you should, of course you should yeah. ask. So, um, it's an engineering. So you correct me if I'm wrong, Greg, about okay. what I'm going to say. Okay. So, okay. Oh. There, those bills are covered by a grant that's right. already been extended. Oh. However, in order for her, for us to get it, she actually invoices us, right. pays it. She, at the same time, she submits um, on our behalf uh, a rec, a requisition for that amount, and then we get paid um, for that amount. Right. So it's, there's no, um, it's a wash. Um, Either way, it's a wash, right? Yes. Right, 100% completely, yeah. Yes. Whether it goes through or not. Yes. Right. I mean, we I mean, just technically have to. Move how many more of those do we have to do before this thing comes to? Uh, no something. more than we already have a grant for. <laughs> right. I don't know where we're at in our tally, so to speak. I mean, how many coming on? I mean, we're still oh, yeah. within. We're still within the frame of yeah. the scope of the project, so we're still within. What right. We, you know, what we like defined. Or yeah. I mean, I I defer to Chrissy, but in my conversation with her today, there was she didn't raise a concern about you know having the funds to accomplish what this current grant is covering. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Good any, other, any other public concerns? I know this was a long agenda. 
All right. I'll make a motion I'll to make adjourn. A motion. Oh, you make the motion. I'll, I'll second the motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Please aye. say aye. 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 Great. Don't leave without signing.